So we use two different kinds of caps here. These are called icons. They need to be used with a SEB system. The one end, you have the icon clip. You run a piece of lead wire through here. Really good system, clips on there. This lead wire will be run to a trunk line, which is hooked up to the entire blasting system. On the other end, this is the cap side of it. It's just an explosive cap. There's nothing special about this. The delay is all in the system. So as soon as this gets the code that it needs, this cap will go off. There's no delay, there's no nothing. Automatic go off. As soon as it's unhooked from the system, it's dead. This cap cannot go off. No matter how much voltage you put to it, it will never go off. Once you have your icon hooked up, the other type of cap we use is a non-L. So what you have here is the Cobra clip. It attaches to what we call B-line. I'll show you that after. Clips onto it. It's called the shock tube. So once the B-line hits the shock tube, it goes through, sends the shock through the tube all the way to your cap. Depending on what cap you have, depends on the delay. The bottom part of the cap is your delay. This is your explosive sides. You can go anywhere from zero seconds to 4.8 seconds of a delay for each one. We go number from one to 18. Just cap your route accordingly. Everything should be fine and go off properly. This is number two. So this has a 0 0.03 of a delay to it. Um, these caps can go off. Right here, they call it snap fire. So you have to somewhat be careful with them. They are pretty resilient. If you break this off, there is a chance the cap can go off. However, these are super safe and will never go off, no matter what you do to them. So safe practice with the caps. Obviously, they can't be stored or transported with powder. Realistically, there has to be a six inch wood barrier if you do transport next to each other. So if you have a powder box, there should be a six inch barrier between the caps and the explosives. These should go nowhere near explosives until you get to your heading, start priming once you're in your heading. Other than that, there should be no reason why they should ever touch. So these, just be careful. If this shock tube does get crimped or bent or tied off wrong, there's a chance it won't go off because the shock won't be able to travel through the system properly. So before you inspect into the hole, you always run your hand down it, make sure everything's good. When you clip on to your uh, B-line, this Cobra clip is movable. So if you leave it here, chances are it's gonna take the least, pass of the least resistance. The shock tube will just go out the wrong end. It'll never go to your cap. So once you hook on the B-line, you make sure it's tight. It makes your face look nicer. Just makes a nicer round. One of the blasting products we use here, stick powder. It's not water soluble, so it can be used in any sort of wet rounds. We typically use them for loading lifters or anchoring. Most of our uh, caps, when we can, we'll prime it with this. It's not very sensitive at all. Get rid of it, you either blow it up or you can burn it. It's just pretty generic brand, stick powder, nothing special to it. It's essentially is just a case of sausage casing. Uh, you'll put one in, you put your cap in, and then you'll just push them down the hole, tamping every one or two sticks, make sure they're good. Again, these are fairly safe, but it is still explosives. This stuff here, it's called B-Line. Very sensitive. We use it to tie in all our caps for all our rounds. This will run from the Icon cap I showed you earlier and connect onto the Cobra clip for the non-L cap. This stuff is very sensitive. I believe it's about 80 PSI will set this off. So a falling rock off a round, hit it with your hammer, just Carelessness can set it off, as happened before. This stuff doesn't get put up until the entire round is loaded. And we know the ground's safe, and it's the last thing you do. You put this stuff up, you tie it into your icon, and you walk away, rope off your heading. Make sure that no one's gonna come anywhere near it, because there is a chance it can go off. People mistake it for rope. It's not rope, it's an explosive. It will blow your hand off. It doesn't look very big, packs a big punch. When it does go off, you know, you see rounds go off or you use it to blow missiles up, you'll see it, it's a big ring of fire when it goes. And you don't want to be anywhere near it if it does, so. All that's inside, proper cutting. So it's just a powder, PETN. It's kind of hard to, hard to see it. So you have your PETN in the inside, a braided rope material on the outside to conceal it. You have your orange casing, 
It'll protect it from water. 